guys, y'all, my hair is like falling out of the little bun that I put it in. <laughs> um, but I just came from the uh, tax office. It's loud. <laughs> I just came from the tax office. Um, I was gonna go pick up my, well, transfer my license to the new club that I'll be working at. But I completely forgot that because today is, um, you know, uh, MLK Day, that <laughs> they're closed. Like, it's the holiday, so they're closed. Um, so I'm going to come back early tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll work tonight because I have a few other clubs that I can work at. But they're out of town. Um... And then thinking about the fact that it's a holiday, it's either gonna be really good or nobody's gonna come. <laughs> so I have to think about that. Um, I'm gonna do Uber and Lyft back to my side of town because I'm downtown right now. Um, and yeah, but I can't get my license today which I was hoping to get it and then be able to work tonight. But it's cool, it's only one day. And like I said, I'm gonna come early tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, so I feel like this whole day, every time I get on here, my hair is falling out of the bun. Um, but I just finished Zumba class. Um, I'm about to head back home, shower, get me something to eat. Um, I may clean tonight or tomorrow because I, I feel like I'm going to have more time tomorrow. Um, I did a little bit of um, Ubering and lifting and um, ran some errands today. I'm going to finish the, um, I have to mail something out tomorrow and um, get that whole license thing done tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, and then like all the stuff that I plan tomorrow. Um, but tonight I have some goal, like writing. I already wrote down my goals, but now I have to like break it down. Like, here's what I want by the end of um, 2023. Now I have to like be like, okay, so what am I going to do? So that's basically what I'm going to do um, when I get home and just kind of uh, make some short-term goals to reach the long-term goals um, for the year and beyond. Um, and I think that is it. Oh, I put some, um, workouts for my clients and for myself on the app and I have to finish, I think for one more person. Um, and then I think that's it. Oh, they're coming in. Oh, my bad. Someone, I think somebody's coming in to play ball or something. So yeah, but I think that's all I have to do. Um, but as always, if I don't see y'all tonight, I hope y'all have a good night. And I hope y'all are having a good start to your week. I know Monday can be tough as in like getting back into the groove of things. Um, especially if you have like a traditional work week. Um, but you can do it. And what is that? Oh, look, I got a little ring light thing. And it's just like going on oh that's because i hit it yeah but um you can do it like i know that it's tough sometimes getting back in, into the swing of things um i saw a lot of people uh working out today like that i haven't seen in the gym so i know a lot of people are doing like their new year's resolutions um and a lot of people do fitness but it doesn't always have to be fitness um but whatever goals you have get working at them do not let your weekend be your week end. So that's my little motivational pep talk for y'all for the week. Um, and I will see y'all either later on tonight or tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning, guys. Um, I just finished my morning routine. Um, I'm out in the living room. Well, yeah, like dining room area. Um, and I'm just going to do a couple, like, little tasks. Um, I have some studying to do and, like, a couple of things to get done. 
on my computer um, and then I'm gonna run out today and get my license um, for the club that I'm supposed to be starting tonight so I was gonna start it I feel like my I don't know my sinuses but I was gonna start it yesterday but as you guys know it was MLK day I don't know why I didn't even think about that but it was MLK day so the place was closed so I'm gonna go and get my license today and then I'm gonna work today I don't know um, because I still wanted to do like Uber. I mean, of course, I'm always going to do my training and um, Zumba and I'll get better at like filming like maybe a little like snippet and stuff like that. The only thing is with training, um, I have a couple people that are in, like that are OK with me, like filming like little fun stuff and stuff like that. But I don't want that to be like the whole premise, you know. Um, so once in a while you might see some of my clients, um, the ones that are comfortable, you, you know, just because, I don't know, they might like that. Um, and then um, for my Zumba classes, where I work, I think somebody told me, like, you're not really supposed to be taking videos of them. Um, but there's a couple who are like, oh, we were in this, like, this other person's class, and they take um like reels of us and stuff like that and we like that so if they're I think the whole thing it like for the company it might be because it's LA Fitness so it might be because like a blanket statement so that if anybody is uncomfortable you don't run into the issue of well you know everybody else was comfortable so I just went with it you know what I'm saying so I think that's why they just blanket statement no social media, no nothing, like only you. You can only record you. Um, but I'm going to double check with that. And um, if that's why they have that role, then I'll ask them, well, is it okay for me to film the people who want to be filmed? Because they ask me like, hey, can we, you know, we want to do a video with you, stuff like that. Especially when I told them I have YouTube and stuff like that. So... You guys may see that. If not, I'll just record me, um, you know, doing like a little snippet or something like that or preparing because um, when I do Zumba, like I already have the routines, but really, really early or if I'm just kind of like bored or um, whatever, I'll just go over some stuff or if I want to change something or if I have like choreo come in like up because I don't just record I mean I don't just practice the choreo that's coming up for this week like I might have like four or five songs ready but I think I told you guys before I don't add them all at the same time because I don't want them to get overwhelmed like some people move faster um and then some people like move a little slower and they like things to kind of stay the same um for longer periods of time so the way that I always work is I'll just add like one every week and see how they feel and if they're handling that well, I might try to, but usually it's just one or I'll do one every other week, something like that. So I'll usually practice like some stuff that I have coming later. Um, so if I have the presence of mind to, then I will record that and, um, you know, share some of my like rough draft or whatever you call it, um, my little practices um, before and after class. Um, and I am, I know I keep saying that, but I am in the process of recording more choreo. I actually set up everything to record um, at the gym I was at yesterday after Zumba class, and I couldn't get the lighting right. I don't know, and now I've never tried to record in that, um, in that room before, um, and the lighting is good, but I just think, I don't know if it's my phone, like, you know, I keep saying about my phone. So I don't know if it's just my phone or whatever, but I wasn't able to get the lighting right. So I was like, well, I'll do it today if I have time. So that's why I'm probably not going to do um, Uber and Lyft or much of it because I have a lot to get done. But yeah.